let's have a look at question 29 in this video. So, in the previous studies, a researcher found a claim that the mean weekly amount of time that teenagers spend on the internet is 7 hours. And now we want to test the following hypothesis. Is it 7 hours or is it different than 7 hours? Using the sample of 100 teenagers described earlier, so in the previous question, and a significant significance level of 0 0.05, do we reject or do we not reject the null hypothesis? And let's draw this on the distribution and we're going to use some numbers from the previous question that we found. So we're looking at the 5% alpha, 5% significance level. I'm going to write here a brief note about alpha. Alpha is the type 1 error and the type 1 error shows us the probability that we are rejecting the null hypothesis when we shouldn't, when we shouldn't. So we're making a mistake there and that's that's acceptable in statistics because we can never be 100% sure. We can always make mistakes. We can always make conclusions that we shouldn't. And the type 1 error in this case is 5%, meaning we have a 5% chance that we are rejecting the hypothesis when we shouldn't. We have this 5% chance of making this mistake. Now, how does this look on the distribution? We have the following distribution and the tails beyond the confidence interval because we know we have the confidence interval over here and since we have an alpha of 5% these tails together must add up to 5% meaning that each tail has 2.5% probability such that the remaining part is going to be 95% confidence interval and recall that the 95% confidence interval is going to give us that range where we're going to have the true population mean in 95% of random samples. And in those 5% of the random samples, well, we just cannot estimate exactly the true population mean because it happens. We, we are allowed to make this mistake in statistics and that's how we show it through our alpha on these tails. Now, let's use the data from the previous question. Let's use the data from here. So we found out the confidence interval to be between 6.2 and 6.79. So let's say 6.8, let's round up. So we're just gonna say 6.2 and 6.8. Now, the hypothesis that, that this researcher has is, do we have a population mean that's equal to seven hours? Can we have enough evidence to say that the population mean is actually seven hours, which would be somewhere over here? Well, at the 5% uh, significance level, at the probability of making a mistake of only 5%, we're not allowed to say it because the values that we are allowed to, to, to give to the true population mean must be between 6.2 and 6.8. We have, we have no room for the value of 7. It's outside our confidence interval. We do not allow for such possible true population mean. So at the level of 5%, we cannot, we cannot keep the hypothesis that the mean is 7. So we reject, we reject the null hypothesis, the mean number of hours, mean number of hours on the internet, so on the net, differs significantly, significantly than 7. Hope this makes sense and we are done.